when you give your all. The narcissist does this. When you do and give as much as you can. When you put all of your energy into the relationship. When you make the maximum effort possible and try as hard as you can to make it succeed. When you work, strive, struggle, strain and push for a worthwhile result. The narcissist does this. You may be empathic. You may be kind and giving. And for a normal person, it will be appreciated. They will recognize its worth. They will respect it. Because they understand the significance of it. They recognize how good it is. So they will value it. Because it conveys information to them. It serves as evidence for something. It tells them that you are kind and friendly. That you are willing to do good. And give aid to people. But the narcissist doesn't see it that way. They see it as a weakness. They see it as an inadequate or defective quality in your character. They see it as your disadvantage or fault because you trigger this opportunistic tendency within them where they choose to exploit immediate opportunities, where they use a situation to get power and an advantage. They were already like that anyway. But when you're kind and friendly to them, it triggers this tendency. So it's not something that they honor or respect. They just see it as something that they can exploit to get more of that behavior out of you. If you give them an inch, they will take a mile. If you make a small concession for them, they'll take advantage of you in a much larger way. And they will give you the bare minimum back in return. They will make the least amount of effort. That is all that they will be willing to give. And if they see that you are comfortable and satisfied with receiving an unequal exchange, they will see it as though you're weak. You don't have strong boundaries. You may be a caring and giving person, but you have to assess the value and quality of what the other person is doing and giving to you as well. If you're not receiving an equal exchange and you're making an effort to do something and help them and they're not giving you what you're giving back to them, there is a problem. The narcissist will think that they can have their way with you. They will think that they can get or do what they want without any opposition. They will think that they can have things done according to their personal preference or decision. Because you're not stopping them from doing what they're doing. They don't see kind acts as something to be honored or cherished. They see it as something to be used and exploited. They see it as something to be taken advantage of.
they see it as an activity for their enjoyment and recreation. Rather than for a serious or practical purpose. It's just for their own amusement. They see it as a game. If there are no limitations, if there are no conditions or requirements that are specified and demanded as part of an agreement that are put on these well-meaning acts of kindness that are coming from you to them, they will see it as a weakness and they will try to exploit you as much as possible. They will try to get as much as they can from you because in their minds nothing is free even acts of kindness even if you wish to improve their lives and reduce their suffering nothing is free they're always trying to get something more because they expect you to see it as a privilege to even be allowed to give something to them in the first place because they already have this idea that the world owes them. They already think that they have the right to live a comfortable life without making any effort at all. Because they consider themselves better than other people. So they believe that they are entitled to financial well-being or a comfortable life without having to work for it. But they also think that everyone is out to get them. They think that everyone is trying to take advantage of them. So they come into your life without willing to match what you're doing. Without willing to be equal to you in quality and strength. Without corresponding to you in some essential respect. Without being harmonious. Without trying to coordinate with you. They don't put in any effort. They don't have any consideration for you. There's no equal exchange. Which means there's going to be a problem. Because you're dealing with someone who doesn't intend on being fair with you. Someone who is not going to treat you in a way that is right or reasonable. Someone who plans on cheating and achieving an unjust advantage. They're not intending on giving back to you what you're giving to them, which will create a problem. Because at that point, you're dealing with a rival or opponent. You're dealing with someone who is in opposition to you. Someone who is competing with you for the same objective or for superiority. Someone who is trying to outdo you and be more successful than you. And when you have someone like this in your life, they will try to strip you of your resources. They will exploit immediate opportunities. They will use the situation to get power at an advantage. And this is one of the first signs to look for. Because someone who is being fair is going to feel uncomfortable receiving and not giving anything back. They're not going to feel comfortable with not giving you anything in exchange. So this is how you know when someone is out to take advantage of you, when they have no intention of ever giving back what they take. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, 
and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.